joining me is comedian and author of the cookbook, Mistress of the Mob Cuisine, Cheryl Vendetti. First of all, I am loving the title. How'd you come up with that? I came up with the title because I was from a, um, a, a crime family, a culinary, a culinary crime family. Wow. Is it true like some of the recipes are based on the crimes or the family yes, they're, Yeah, they're, they're based on the family stories. Each of the, what I did is I, I changed the names of my family to protect the guilty and each, <laughs> each, and each of the names uh -huh. are based on all these fictitious characters and all the and all the idiosyncrasies of my family, like my mother. I saw the blessed mother of my lasagna. Cause she was always looking in the lasagna with putting on her hair and makeup. Or I whacked them chicken parmesan, or Uncle Vinny's out of the trunk turtle noodle casserole. You know, to make people feel to give them a little bit of my Italian culture. Well, I can tell it's not your average cookbook, that's for sure. How long did it take to write it? It took me since I was about three. <laughs> So it was worth the wait, right? <laughs> it was worth the wait. It took me a very long time because I kept changing. You know, I'm a woman, so I right. kept changing it. But I finally decided on 75 recipes, even though they subpoenaed me, okay. my family subpoenaed me, I ended up with 75 recipes, they're all tested, they're all good, and each of them comes with a restraining order. Oh, good. <laughs> now they're not going to come up, uh, come after me here, what's up for, uh, for having you on the show, right, because we're giving some secrets out? Yeah, as a matter of fact, my bodyguard, Peaches, is in, is in the parking lot waiting for you. Oh, great. <laughs> and where did you grow up, by the way? I grew up in a little town in Massachusetts that a lot of people don't like to talk about it. Um, a little Italian town in Massachusetts. It's, it's one of those undisclosed places. I grew up, I actually grew up in a split level vacant building. Oh, oh, there you go. So when did you get into comedy? I heard you were you performed in Vegas, the comedy store. Yeah, or? Vegas, the comedy store, everywhere. You know, I've been doing comedy for a very long time and Mitzi Shaw, the late great Mitzi Shaw, I worked at the comedy store forever. And then I put together a little band and I marketed it called the Pasta Fazuls. <laughs> it's like, and I've been playing Vegas and Harris, and um, so I've been keeping myself busy. You know, even though I'm not a great singer, do you know what I'm saying? Um, it's like in the in like in the vein of Tony Fields, Pudgy, and all those great women. I kind of put music to it to add something different. To, right. Yeah. Right. And um, is it true you work with Carol Burnett? We've had her on the show. Yes, I did. My daughter and I did Carol Burnett. Um, a little help with Carol on Netflix, oh, okay. and I love Carol. You know, you know. The problem was when I met her, I didn't. I forgot a, which ear, which yeah. ear I was twisting. So I just twisted hers, and it was fabulous. We shot it at our house in Beverly Hills. It's airing now. I'm on the third episode with DJ Cal. You know, DJ oh, with DJ right. very hip hop. You know, so I fit right in. And Carol was so so nice to me. It was terrific. And when I went to, I was going to give her a copy of the book. Uh -huh. Right. And she said to me, Cheryl, she said, when we have you back, I'd love a copy of your book. Good, good, good. So, yes. But that was good. I love I'm excited Carol. to read it myself. So yeah, how do you purchase the book? Okay, you purchase the book. You can either get it online, you can get it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. If you get it through my website, I, if you get it through my website and you tell me you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll give you two for one. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, I'll give you for two our what's for up, one. Our viewers. Yeah, yeah, two for one. Listen, and if you Facebook me and you tell me I give good face, I will, <laughs> I will give you a three for one. Oh my goodness, you got all that now. Favorite recipe before we go. Okay, favorite recipe, I gotta say, in honor of my mother, it's the chicken cutlets. It's I whacked them chicken parmesan or the meatballs. My mother made the best meatballs. I'm married to the mom meatballs. One of those two. Terrific, easy to make. Low calorie also, mm -hmm. low calorie will stick to your belly. But here's the thing, having a belly when you get older is good because if anybody, you know, any of these Italian guys try to grab you, you can grab them back because their belly's usually bigger than yours. Well, there you have it. So you are going to get the book. I'm going to go home right now and we are going to cook it up.